Hello, you are welcome. How to find the value of x given that square root of 6 raised to power 8 plus 6 raised to power x over 6 raised to power x plus 1 equals to 36. From here, we can square both sides of this equation. When we square this side, we have everything square here. Then we have 36 square here. So let's put this in bracket as well. Then from here, this square, we cancel the square root. And uh, we have 6 raised to power 8 plus 6 raised to power x over 6 raised to power x plus 1, which is equal to, let's express 36 as 6 square, then raised to power 2 here. Then from here, this power we multiply, that will be 6 raised to power 4. Then we can cross multiply, this is over 1 from here. When we cross multiply, 6 raised to power 8 plus 6 raised to power x times 1, still the same thing as 6 raised to power 8 plus 6 raised to power x, which is equal to 6 raised to power 4 here, multiply this. So we have 6 raised to power 4 multiplied by 6 raised to power x plus 1. Then from here, we can open this bracket here and uh, this gives us 6 raised to power 8 plus 6 raised to power x equals to 6 raised to power 4 times 6 raised to power x then plus 6 raised to power 4 6 raised to power 4 times 1 that's 6 raised to power 4 then let's bring x together we can take 6 raised to power 4 times 6 raised to power x to this side so we take this one to this side, then we take 6 raised to power 8 to this side. So this becomes 6 raised to power x minus 6 raised to power 4, then 6 raised to power x, then equals to 6 raised to power 4, then we take minus 6 raised to power 8. Then from here, we factor what is common from here. 6 raised to power x is common, so we have 6 raised to power x out then what you have left is one then minus six raised to power four here then equals to from here as well we can factor six raised to power four from here so this becomes six raised to power four minus six raised to power four plus four four plus four is the eight which we can write as six raised to power four minus six raised to power four times six raised to power four then from there we factor what is common out. 6 raised to power 4 is common. We factor it out and this gives us 6 raised to power 4 out. Then we have 1 minus what is left here 6 raised to power 4. Then we compare this with the left hand side. We have 6 raised to power x times 1 minus 6 raised to power 4. So we have 6 raised to power 4 on both sides. And then this can cancel out. Then we have 6 raised to power x equals to 6 raised to power 4. Then since the base are equal, we can say from here that x equals to 4. Then to check from what we are given, we have the root of 6 raised to power 8 plus 6 raised to power x over 6 raised to power x plus 1. So let's put x equals to 4 from here and then we have square root of this gives us square root of 6 raised to power 8 plus 6 raised to power 4 now. Then over 6 raised to power 4 plus 1 with this be equals to 36. And when we check from here, we have square root of 6 raised to power 8 can be separated as 6 raised to power 4 plus 4. Then plus 6 raised to power 4 over 6 raised to power 4 plus 1 is this equals to 36 and then from here this can also be written as square root of 6 raised to power 4 times 6 raised to power 4 plus 6 raised to power 4 over 6 raised to power 4 plus 1 and uh, is this equals to 36 and from up here we factor 6 raised to power 4 so this is square root of 
6 raised to the power 4 out. Then we have 6 raised to the power 4 plus 1 left. Then over 6 raised to the power 4 plus 1. We can also put brackets here. And from here we have, is this equals to 36 from here? Then this cancel out and this gives us 6 raised to the power square root of 6 raised to the power 4. Is this equals to 36? And uh, square root can also be written as power of half. So we have 6 raised to the power 4 raised to the power half from here. Is this equals to 36? And since this power multiply, four, 2 will go in 4, that's 2. So we have 6 square here. Is it equals to 36? And we have 6 square 6 times 6. And 6 times 6 is 36, which is equals to 36. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we can conclude from here that x equals to 4 is a solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel. Give it thumbs up. See you next class and bye for now.